Remotely operating the Arduino PLC with mobile phone Bluetooth app connectivity can be achieved with HC05 Bluetooth model. The HC05 VCC and GND are connected to that of the Arduino Nano. The HC05 TX pin connects to the RF pin of the Arduino Nano and its RF pin connects to the TX pin of the Nano. Pair the mobile phone with the HC05 model using the default password of 0000 or 1234. Install the free version of RoboRemo app from Google Play Store into your Android phone. Select Menu and then Edit UI. Touch the lower part of the app to add a button. Move the button around with its top left corner. Drag the lower right corner to resize the button. Then touch the middle of the button to configure its parameters. Change the text parameter to Start. Change D dot size to 30. Add capital letter A to the press parameter. Then select OK. Create two other buttons for stop and reset with press parameter of B and C respectively. Touch the space above the button to insert an LED. Move and resize it as with the buttons. Set its ID as lead 1. Observe that the on and off CMD are 1 and 0 respectively. Set the color to green, then touch OK. Insert two other LEDs with IDs of lead 2 and lead 3 and colors red and yellow respectively. Observe that there is a limit of 5 items for the free version of RoboRemo, so I asked to buy the full version. Touch on the space above the LED to insert a text field. Set the text as R and T dot size as 25. Move and resize it accordingly. Add two other text fields with text as minute and second with the same T dot size of 25. Add three text fields above the previous text field with IDs of text1, text2, and text3 and t dot size of 35. Add two more text fields above with text of runtime and motor starter and t dot size of 30 and 35 respectively. These four rooms have been added to the program of the previous video. The first is the timer oscillator room 
that ensures the transmission of the runtime at run 6 every 5 seconds. Data is received from the Bluetooth module by the URAT receive instruction and are compared with A, B or C to determine the required action. If A is received, this formatted string over URAT instruction sends to the Bluetooth model the string lead1 one, one backward slash n to turn on the green LED in the Robo Remote app and lead2 0 backward slash n to turn off the red LED. Note that lead1 and lead2 are the IDs of the LEDs in the Robo Remote app. 1 is the command to turn on the LEDs and 0 is the command to turn them off. Backward slash n is the command ending. When b is received, the previous action is reversed. When c is received, the string lead 3, 0, backward slash n is sent to turn off the yellow LED in the app. Y motor output contact and the fourth alarm reset contact ensures that the motor status indications are also seen on the app when the buttons are pressed. The string lead 3, 1, backward slash n is sent to the Bluetooth model to turn on the yellow LED when there is a trip for fourth indication. When the received Bluetooth data is compared with A, B or C in rooms 9, 10 and 13, the respective buttons in the app can start and stop the motor and reset the fault alarm before uploading the code into the Nano. Disconnect the AC05 model PX and ROX pins from the Nano and reconnect after the upload. Touch the menu button and select connect. Then Bluetooth ROF COM and the HC05 Bluetooth device. Touch the menu button again and select Don't Edit UI. Touch the Start button on the Robo Remote app and observe that the contactor is activated with the green indicator and the LED on the app on. The runtime counts down to zero and stop the motor with the red indicator and LED on. You can also touch the stop button to stop the motor. When a trip is simulated, the yellow LED on the app as well as the indicator comes on. Touch the reset button to reset the alarm. SMS remote control will add more fun to the Arduino PLC. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you have not and the bell next to it for future notifications.